Hi kindergartners, this is Mrs. Conception and I'm here to do literacy with you this week. I'm so excited to see you guys back from spring break. I hope you had fun resting your brains. Now it's time to keep growing them. We're working really hard, okay? So this week, our letter is the letter V. Can you guys say letter V? V. What sound does the letter V make? Do you remember? I heard somebody say it. It's V. Can I hear you say it? V. Nice. So the letter V makes a V sound like a violin, okay? Can you guys play your violin for me? Ooh, that sounds great. V, V, violin. So when we are writing the letter V, we need to be extra careful not to go outside of the two lines, okay? So I've been seeing a lot of your work, and you have been, you've been practicing a lot of your writing and trying to be very neat, but some people are forgetting about the lines. Okay, so with a capital V, you want to start at the very top, 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 and we go down to the red line, but don't go past it, okay? And it's going to go kind of diagonal, and then you're going to go straight back up to the top line again. That's the capital V. <gasps> nice. And remember, you can practice this at home on your whiteboards or on a piece of paper, okay? For the lowercase v, it's almost the same, but remember, we're not starting at the top, top, top anymore. We're starting at the dotted middle line, okay? So if you have lines like this on your paper, make sure you're gonna do that, okay? Because the letter v, when it's capital and lowercase, can look very similar if you don't pay attention to where you start, okay? So, start at the middle line, go down to the red line. Remember, don't pass the red line then go back up to the dotted line, okay? So your lowercase v's should look like this, okay? And remember, when you practice your handwriting, it's not a race, it's not about doing it the fastest, it's about doing it the correct way, okay? So I'm gonna practice a few of them over here. Remember, I'm gonna start at the top, top, top for a capital V, all the way down to the red line, and then back up to the top line, okay? So if misconception was being a little lazy and sloppy, she might do this. But if I do that, I can't tell which one are lowercase v's and uppercase v's because they all look like different sizes and none of them really start where they're supposed to start. So I'm going to use my eraser and I'm going to try that again. Okay, so I'm going to do a uppercase v, lowercase v, uppercase v, lowercase v, kind of like a pattern. And it's up to you if you want to do it like a pattern or if you want to do all capital first and then all lowercase. But remember, pay attention to those lines because you want to make sure that your, your reader knows if you're writing a capital V or a lowercase V. Okay, great. Can't wait to see those Vs. And remember, it makes a V, V sound, like V, violin. Now, Miss Consumpt is going to see if you can use your ears to listen for the v sound. So I have some pictures for you. And you're gonna help me sort them. Remember, kind of like we did a few weeks ago, if it starts with a v sound, we're gonna put it on this side. If it doesn't start with a v sound, we're gonna put it on this side, okay? So you can give me a thumbs up if you think it's a v sound or a thumbs down. And I'm gonna show you the pictures that I have for you this week. Okay, we have a mouse, we have, ooh, pizza, which some of you guys made videos of and um, follow along with Miss Fam. That's great. We have a ring, we have a volcano, we have a violin, and we have a van. Okay, so Miss Consumption is going to mix it up and she's going to have some of you guys choose the pictures. Hey, don't peek. All right, choose a card. All right, our first one is a ring. Hmm, listen carefully. Ring, r-ing, ring. You're right, it's a r-r sound, an R. It does not start with a V. Good job. All right, next one, choose the next card. Ooh, somebody chose a Violin, hmm, violin, v-violin, v-violin. 
I saw some thumbs up. You're right. That starts with a V. Great job. Good listening. Keep those ears on. Listen carefully. Next card. Choose it. Don't peek. Whoa. I remember this one. It's a van. Van. Listen to the beginning sound. V. Add. V. 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 You're right. It is a V. Thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. We have three more cards. Choose one. Whoa. Mmm. Pizza. Pizza. Listen carefully. P. Pizza. P. 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 Yeah, right. That's a P, P sound. So, mmm, not quite a V. We're going to put that over here. Pizza. Nice. Two more. Choose one of the cards. Ooh, a volcano. The beginning sound for a volcano. V volcano. V v v. <gasps> nice. Thank you for the thumbs up over there. Last one. Mouse. Mouse. M mouse. M m m. -m. I heard somebody say, that's an M sound, mm, not a V sound. Wow, you are so good at listening for that beginning sound. Uh, make sure that you're looking for words to start with a V this week. It's one of our activities, but I can see that you guys are going to have no problem with that. You were able to sort those pictures like nothing. Okay, great job. So now, let's review our letters and their actions and sounds so that we can read some new words that start with the letter V. Okay. I saw some really good singing and chanting last week. Let's see if we can do it all together. Ready? Follow my finger. A, A, apple. B, B, bear. C, K, cat. D, D, dog. E, e egg. F, f, fish. G, g, goat. H, hat. I, I, iguana. J, j, jar. K, k, kite. L, leaf. M, m, mouse. N, n, nest. O, o octopus. P, p, pig. Q, qu, queen. R, ring. S, s, sock. T, t, turtle. U, a, uh, umbrella. V, that's our word this week, our letter this week. V, violin. Nice job. W, 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 window. X, x, x ray. Y, y, yarn. And Z, z zebra. Nice. Good job. Misconception made a few mistakes there, but I heard you guys and you did not make any. So great. Thanks for keeping me on track. Now, let's see if misconception can trick you. Hmm. We're going to be reading some words with the letter V. And remember, when I don't know a word, I can use a strategy to blend the sounds. That means put them together. We do that when we do our phonics, when we listen and we do it with our arms. You can also do it on a whiteboard or on a paper. I'm gonna do both with you so you guys can see both strategies, okay? So, we're gonna start with the first letter. The first letter is what? Guess, oh, you're right, the letter V, V. That's the word, that's the letter we're learning to um, this week. So, V, V. Next one is a, you're right, an E. What sound does an E make? Eh, eh. So, v, eh, v, eh. And then the last one. What is that? It's a T, you're right. And the T makes a T sound. So it's v, eh, t, v, eh, t. And we can do that on our arm. V, eh, t. Blend it together, vet. Awesome. Nice reading. And you can also do it across like this. V, at, vet. Mm. Okay, so are you guys ready for the next word? 
I think you are. Remember, we're doing words that start with a letter V. So you know the sound. You're right. I heard it. V. Next one. Ah, nice. V. Ah. Mm. I already heard some people reading it, but let's blend it with some of our friends that need a little help. Okay. V. An. Van. How many of you guys have a van? My parents have a van because we had so many siblings. I had three sisters, so they, need, they needed a big car. So they had a van to drive us around in. You're right. So now I'm gonna add something a little bit extra, okay? I'm gonna see if you guys can do some rhyming words by replacing one of the sounds, okay? So I'm gonna say the word is van, replace the v with a, and I'm gonna put another letter and I wanna see if you can guess the word that rhymes, okay? So let's see. The word is van. Replace the v with a k. What is that word? Nice, so you read a new word and you rhyme. So it's can. The word was van. Replace the v with a k. Can. Awesome. Let's try one more, okay? The word is can. Replace the k with a t. <gasps> You're right. Tan. Tan. Like I went out in the sun and got a nice tan. Okay? That means when your skin gets a little bit darker because you're out in the sun. Okay? Also, it can also be a color, like a light brown color. Good thinking. Thanks for sharing that. Okay? So, um, we learned some words that start with a sound. V, v sound, letter V. We learned how to write our letter Vs correctly. We learned how to read words that start with a letter V. And we even learned how to rhyme some words. So that was a lot of things that your brain learned to do and it's growing so much. Kiss it for working so hard. Um, one thing I do wanna review with you really quickly before I let you go are your sight words. Um, this week's sight word is all. Can you all say all? Nice, and teachers use this all the time, okay? Can you clap it with me just like my class does? We usually clap it and then, um, we spell it and then clap it. So it goes like this, A-L-L-L. -L -L. And we do it twice, A-L-L-L. -L -L. And then we try to use it in a sentence like, I want to eat all the cookies. Or, I want to see all of you post pictures on Class Dojo. Okay, so I'll try it out this week. Um, something else that's really fun you can do is you can make sight word flashcards like Miss Conception has here. She just likes to read them over and say, ooh, I know that one, that's me. I know that one, that's is, I, my. And then I even like to challenge myself by finding them around the house or around in books um, and maybe even like writing sentences using these sight words. Okay, so mommies and daddies can help you with that. Um, I hope you had fun learning with me and doing literacy. Um, I'm very proud of all the work you did with me, and I hope that you have a great week doing our activities. See you next time. Bye!